Hello, my name is Austin Torres, and welcome to What Do You Die, the show where we examine all the monsters and villains of pop culture. Today we're looking at a creature that seems pretty sus. That's right, we're talking about The Thing. From The Thing. What a spooky thing! Let's find out if you stand a chance. The Thing first appeared in the 1938 novella, Who Goes There? written by John W. Campbell Jr. That novella would be adapted into four different films, the first of which be in 1951's The Thing From Another World. Directed by Kristen Nyby and produced by Howard Hawks, The Thing From Another World is about a group of scientists and the U.S. Air Force men who discover a crashed flying saucer and the monster within. This version of The Thing is an unholy hybrid of Frankenstein's monster and a vegetable. Care to elaborate? Uh, no. The 1950s film was a huge influential hit on both the sci-fi and horror genres influencing many future directors like John Carpenter. Remember that name. The second adaptation of Who Goes There is 1974's Horror Express! A Spanish produced and English language film starring horror and Star Wars icons Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. Good, twice the pride, double the fall. I don't want to give too much away, but it's a highly entertaining watch. It's the thing but mixed with murder on the Orient Express. Also, I'm not gonna mention Horror Express again until the kill section. The movie's just too crazy, man. It goes off the rails. <laughs> the third and most iconic film is John Carpenter's The Thing! Released in 1982. Featuring a great cast such as Keith David and Kurt Russell, an awesome score by Ennio Morricone, an excellent direction by the master of horror, John Carpenter, it's hard to believe that The Thing was a critical and commercial disaster when it came out. I guess moviegoers aren't ready for the extreme body horror and paranoia within the film. I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. But your kids are gonna love it. It also doesn't help that The Thing was released right after Steven Spielberg's E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Ooh, that's rough, buddy. However, time would be kind to Carpenter's masterpiece, as The Thing is now considered one of the greatest sci-fi horror films of all time. A prequel also titled The Thing would be released in 2011. This film has gotten a lot of shit, but it's not that bad. Like, yeah, it's not great, it's just not that bad. I mean, it has Mary Elizabeth Winstead in it. She's great. She's Ramona Flowers. The 2011 thing is currently the last project to hit the big screen, although it was recently announced that another remake is coming, this time from Universal and Blumhouse. I guess good things really do come to those who wait. In addition to the films, there are video games, haunted house attractions, comic books, and board games. If you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> the Thing is an alien from another world. And it hates dogs. Seriously, The Thing kills multiple dogs throughout all The Thing movies. Anyways, it's an alien that can imitate other life forms and, uh, we don't know much about it. And thankfully, the movies don't go that deep into it. The scariest thing about the creature is that it can look like anybody. The paranoia of not knowing who to trust can be quite brutal and quickly tear groups apart. Child, what if we're wrong about him? Why then we're wrong? See? Don't act sus, and you'll survive your human comrades. But let's talk about how to survive the thing itself. Assimilation. In order to imitate you, it needs to digest you. I mean, it makes sense, but it's still nasty. Being nasty. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Fire! Well, I have good news for you. You can, in fact, kill it with fire. But you have to burn all of it. Only needs a cell to survive. Electricity. Featured in the 1950s version, you could just shock the creature to death. Though this version of the creature is easier to kill. Shocking. Blood test. This doesn't kill the creature, but it helps identify who among us isn't what they seem. Just make sure to perform the test quickly. I know you gentlemen have been through a lot, but when you find the time, I 
rather not spend the rest of this winter tied to this couch! Yeah, that line hits different during a pandemic. B. Kurt Russell. Do I need to say more? According to my count, The Thing has killed 41 people. Across four films, that averages 10.25 kills a film. Most of those kills came from Horror Express. Who would have thought? To really see how brutal The Thing can be, let's look at The Thing. John Carpenter's version, obviously. The Thing encountered 12 characters, killing nine of them. That's a kill rate of 75%, earning The Thing a lethality rating of eight out of 10 skulls. And with its ambiguous ending, it could have been Keith David and took over the world. Who knows? So, if you're not Kurt Russell, would he die? Based on these results, it looks like you have a 100% chance of dying when encountering the thing. Duh. You're not Kurt Russell. You gotta be f***ing kidding. Yeah, it be like that sometimes. Do you have a suggestion on who or what I should cover next? Comment your thoughts and check out my previous episodes and other fun shows at Three Wise Men Media. Don't forget to subscribe. Tune in next time when we discuss some other spooky icon. Until then, I'm Austin Torres. Try not to die.